Now in this step, I have Prismacolor Black, and we're going to paint the main body of the engine. This is where, as I talk about kind of <clears throat> painting against the bottom and then flipping the card, as I've said many times in the lettering, is very helpful. And again, also why practicing logos, as I said, even in painting the orange, it's very helpful because the more you've done this, as you've invested all this time, even if you do it completely the way you want it to be, Part of why you do is because you've built the confidence level and you're going to build that confidence level a lot faster if we flip it and pull this towards ourselves. you're going to build that confidence level a lot faster if you've practiced the lettering of the engine and painting around it because painting around the letters of the engine it's definitely something that makes the drawing pop. As I've mentioned, that's part of why I'm, I get a little bit quieter when I start to draw around the letters, paint around them. Just because I'm focused. And also something I've said many times is don't you don't don't feel like you have to go this fast when you're going around the Canadian national logo. I'm going this fast just because I'm presenting it in a video. But going you want to definitely take your time. I'm and one of the things you'll see that I end up doing is that once you've gone around it once or even twice you want to go around it and touch up around it. So the first time around, you're better off if there's areas that are at all questionable, not getting quite as close in as you feel like you could. Because you can always touch those areas up.
know what I'll do. Go around the steps. And get the little top part of the truck because you're going to flip this truck over. As I said, the steps, you want them to be nice and square. And see, I don't comment, make commentation anywhere near as much when I'm painting. I can, but it's actually an indication to you, the observer, that actually when you're painting, which I'll sort of talk you through this a little bit, but I kind of actually, if anything, was... Now here, let's start putting a second coat on this engine. The second coat's when you start doing your beginnings of touch-up. Because as you can see, the engine's basically, from the distance, it's starting to look basically done. I'm starting to from here see little corners around the CN. I found painting like dark blue, painting black, painting dark gray, all these colors. I recommend three coats with colors like this brighter red and the yellow but like dark blue black a lot of these kinds of colors dark gray two coats seems like it's enough in the sense that part of what it is one one of several reasons it starts to puddle a little bit is one reason you can put a third coat it's not like it's but 
The other reason is, is that as it is, there's just this essence of your pencil lines. And if you start to cover it too, too much, that essence of your pencil lines. And I know a lot of you might be saying, why did I draw all those pencil lines? And I can't even see them anymore. But the thing about it is, you can see them. They're, they're there. It's, it's interesting. They make these very interesting, intriguing dents into the paper that compared to like it, there have been several times where I've wanted to a little bit highlight them and stuff, but that's not really the look that engines have. When it, when, just take a look, when an engine really goes by, its doors aren't like intensely like highlighted with you know they're not popping out like hey there's 10 doors here you know those of us who know know that they're there but like if this cn engine went by the doors really kind of just do blend in but what it is, this gives the feel of the essence of the doors, which actually is kind of what the engine actually really looks like. So, just because you draw, you know, for ever how long you do, and then it feels like it all gets lost. Don't worry, the doors are all still there. That's why I should take a few minutes and kind of look at it. And what I'll do is I'll take, this is called Warm Gray 60. This kind of makes that nice warm metal. For trucks, couplers. Basically, there's the Canadian National 4705. Thanks for joining me for my drawing demonstration of Canadian National 4705.